Welcome to this commentary. I'm Darlanio, and this will be the first game between D Star and Nurkio here on Neo Enigma in the Daily Motion Cup. Um, the blue Terran here in the lower left corner is D Star, and uh, it looks like he is spawning more SCVs. We should have the production tab up. Uh, Nurkio is uh, going to scout the wrong base with his overlord and he is spawning uh, drones so uh, no rush this game we see a spawning pool and an overlord coming up so it's pretty standard opening here not sure what language Nurkio and D Star is talking, but as you can see, it's semi final between these players. Empire Nurkio. Uh, Nurkio has joined Empire, uh, the Empire squad or Empire team. And he's saying that I'm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, um, we see one drone going out scouting and another drone expanding. No spawning pool so far. Barracks is being built, of course, not blocking off the ramp. Bravery or stupidity? History will tell. This drone will see that the ramp is open. There comes the spawning pool. Somewhat late, but still a spawning pool. Orbital command almost done. So D Star is calling down his first emule right now. Not much happening here in the opening. You see several drones coming down here to the expansion. It's interesting to note that the other semi final, which was between Empire Cass and Morrow, also was a uh, Terran versus Zerg. No Protoss left in this cup. I really like the sound of the waterfall that's here we see a reaper coming in from D-Star and not ready to attack this queen obviously one overlord here some small battle here we see a circling coming here and attacking this Maybe that was why he took home his Reaper to take out that Zergling. And that, of course, spoils the surprise. I've mentioned it before, but this Alnaga in the center of Neo Enigma is really cool since it's burning. More larvas spawning up here. More technology, no, spine cr okay, spine crawler and roach warren, so we will see roaches in a moment. More gas will be harvested. The expansion for D Star is up and we also see it reinforced with bunker. Two factories. All producing Hellions, both of them producing Hellions. And with the reactor on this one it's three Hellions coming out. 
these are now supply blocked. No, his supply depot just finished. And another one being built here. Okay. This brave marine is patrolling the border. These six zerglings comes in and takes out this Helion. And it looks like they're going to attack. The bunker has only one marine right now, but several Helions comes in and takes that out. Is this a mushroom? No, something else. Looks really strange. Five Helions. Uh, six coming in. Uh, not sure if they are going. They are going to attack, but they took out Zerglings there. One of them is damaged. Move to the back. Okay. And melee attacks is being researched, so I guess he will continue with his Zerglings. Speedling has been researched already. Metabolic boost that is. And still he has roaches destroying these destructible rocks to make it possible for him to easy access this, uh, to, to, to faster access this uh, expansion. Uh, still these Helions keep control of the area outside his natural and also stops him from expanding to the gold minerals. The roaches now move down and chase these Hellions away. Still only one marine in the bunker, but now at least he has a marauder and one marine, no, three marines ready to move in when, whenever they find it necessary. We have uh, siege tanks coming from these two, I guess. And lots of marines being produced as well. Okay, supply wise, 92 towards 101. So it's about equal. Die Star is needing one more supply depot again. Is he building one? Yes, he is almost finished. Third expansion for Nacho is almost finished and his queen is moving there to be able to spawn more larva. Extractors has been morphed in and this is a waste. One drone entering the extractor with my minerals. Leaving them inside. Um, okay. Map control is nurtures right now, but that might change now when this army of five siege tanks, many marines, one marauder, is there a, yes there is a reaper in that group, and a few hellions are moving back to his base, why? What did he see that I didn't see? No army there. No attack. No nothing. Okay, just move back. Maybe that was enough to scare the Zerg into producing a lot of roaches. I guess not. He's still producing, but uh, there comes an infester. Okay, an attack coming down here small group of roaches and zerglings are being chased away by the larger army with five siege tanks, marines, reaper, marauder and hellions. And the star has taken the gold expansion. The gold expansion is still not taken by Nurchu. Nacho opted to take this gold expansion instead, I didn't even see that. Thumbs up! Real cool! That will take some time for D-Star to... to 
find out. Um, some creep tumors being destroyed and some Sarglings being killed, but for most of it they are just holding their positions. Taran is moving in. Zerg holding the... it's... Uh, Nurture is holding the position for now. Not ret retreating too far. And maybe Dystar feels that he is able to stop the expansion to the gold for now. He can't know about this yet. He has not passed the uh, Selnaga where the Zerg has a large presence, strong presence. This observer is being sacrificed to be able to see what's here. The Zerg army has been forced back. These infestors will... No, they are able to survive. This larger group at the Selnaga came in to their... Res uh, came in and rescued them. Uh, okay. Maybe... This Medivac was able to see this... Edge of the creep, not sure. Uh, Narchu is getting ready to attack. So far, the star has only pushed his way forward. But I can't see it's an all out attack yet. Narchu is being forced back by this group of marines and one marauder. And Brood Lord coming in, destroying the siege tanks. Doing it impossible for the Terran to remain with his presence here and forcing Ming back. As you know, Brood Lords are able to shoot Broodlings down on the field. Broodlings attack ground units only since they will be replenished and quite quickly I should say ground troops have real problems against these heavy air fighters air units I should say they are not fighting the, the other air units they are only fighting ground uh, corruptors taking out that viking which was harassing the broodlords Zerg Retreats to the Selnaga for now. One, two, three. Extra hatchery here. Uh, four expansions. Still no expansion at the gold. Terran. One, two, three. Lot of production buildings and the fourth command center coming here. This medevac moving around will there be a drop I think so let's follow it and see what happens Serg is moving out from the Selnaga going south so there will be two attacks right now we follow this drop first which takes out a few drones not much else okay let's go back a few seconds right now I can't see that timer sorry for spoiling the fun for you telling you how long this game is this large army for the Zerg is attacking first with corruptors taking out air defense vikings such things rude lords coming in taking out the ground units and to clean up roaches and a few infestors ready to mind control or no, not ready to mind control but ready to spew out infested tarans 
this planetary fortress will not be able to withstand this bombardment of broodlings. And even so, there is a lot of SCVs trying to repair this. Vikings being chased away once again of the, uh, by the Corruptors, but the Corruptors are quickly being damaged and um, will not be able to sustain this uh, defense of the Rude Lords. Rude Lords now easily taking out the siege tanks instead, since it was not possible to take down that planetary fortress. I was almost sure it would fall, but the number of SCVs were too great. The Zerglings keep coming. Or rather the Zerg units, because there's no Zerglings in this attack, only Speedlings. Okay, Dystar has realized he is outgunned, even though he got his fourth expansion here, not much happening there yet. And Nurture has one, two, three, four, five, six hatcheries, five bases. No problem at all to keep this attack up. So this planetary fortress will fall, and soon thereafter probably this expansion, even though there are some reinforcements here. This was game one. Hope to see you in game two. Thanks for watching. Bye.